Dylan the Dragon and the Playground Ride by Zani Matu published by Monkey Pen Limited In this classic tale Dylan learns to make friends despite obstacles and when the happily ever after arrives both the dragon and the reader have learned a thing of two about relationships Dylan the young blue dragon live deep in the rockstone mountains of Scotland every day the playful young dragon woke up early in the morning and flew all around the mountains and valleys looking for something to do when he was hungry he would go home to his cave where mummy dragon would have hot soup ready for his dinner wash your wings and get ready for tea i've made your favorite today darling p and thought so said mummy dragon dylan sighed mm, thank you mum he said sadly whatever is the matter son every day you come back home happily for your tea but today you look so sad inquired mummy dragon i'm lonely mum i can't find anyone to play with in all the lakes mountains and valleys in rockstone there isn't a single dragon for me to play with he grumbled Well, how about this for an idea? Why don't you fly down to the village playground and see if the children there want to play with you? Dylan woke up bright and early the next day. He was very excited that he would soon have friends to play with every day. He put on his baseball cap and school tie and flew past the valleys and mountains until he reached the little village of Falkirk. He glided down to a passerby to ask for directions to the children's playground. Dad, dad, that way, pointed the quivering man. Oh, he must be cold, thought Dylan. After all humans don't breathe fire like dragons, so they must find it very difficult to keep warm. Not long after, Dylan the dragon came in for a swift landing in the center of the playground. The playground was filled with smart young children in bright red and grey uniforms with their school ties. Dylan tucked at his tie and cleared his throat. He felt very well dressed for the occasion. He was about to open his mouth to introduce himself when he suddenly heard Oh, run! It's a dragon! He's going to burn us alive! yelled one of the young boys. All the children ran frantically towards the exits and disappeared in no time. Dylan sighed sadly. All he wanted was some friends to play with, but clearly humans were very scared of dragons. He flew home with his head hung low to see what mummy dragon had made for tea. The next day, Dylan decided to try and make friends with the children in the playground again. He tucked his white handkerchief in his left gill and scooped up a large branch lying on the floor. He made it into a white surrender flag. He crossed his claws and hoped the children would give him uh, another chance. Down he flew again into the center of the playground with his white surrender flag clenched in his jaw. I just want to play and be friends, he said softly. But how will you play with us? shouted one of the girls. You are too big for our swings and slides. You won't fit in our roundabout. Well, why don't I take you all for a ride to the valleys and the mountains of Rockstone? Yay! squealed all the children at once. They climbed onto Dylan's back and off the children went on a very exciting flight. From that day, Dylan and the playground children were friends and every day Dylan the dragon would take the children on the best playground ride ever. The end. I hope all of you enjoy the story. Bye.